Speaking of putting respect on players' names, Jimmy Great. Ward. Great he transition. Wants he wants – Thank you. I try. He wants the respect, Rob. He does. He's going on Instagram. Can you – Can you? I don't, I'm not on Instagram. Can you explain to the kids? Yeah, I just randomly popped on, and he was doing a live. So I got on there, and there was some uh, bearded gentleman who was asking him a couple of questions, and he was just going back and forth about it. And he talked about – he literally said, I just need that respect, bro. I don't know whether he said that when he was on with him or, but he, he later he was posting to his stories where it was just him watching film of himself play after play after nice. play after play. So nice. it got started with, you know, they put out that list of tight ends and Jimmy started responding to the list of tight ends with, well, these players wouldn't get more than 30 yards. If I were guarding them all game, these nice. players wouldn't get more than 40 yards and maybe this one could get 50, but I mean, it was brash brash talk for sure nice. i loved it it was fantastic so you could tell that he had taken some offense man he went into the fact he was like this is a big year for me he acknowledged that he's got two years left on the deal but this is really the year he has to prove it if he wants the next deal right if he's going to get that extension it's going to happen next off season he makes it to free agency right then he's playing on the last year of a deal nobody wants to do that it also made me wonder if he would play on the last year of his deal the way he talked about it. But he talked about making fewer mental mistakes. He was talking about conditioning his body. He was talking about recovery. He was on that, man. He was talking about yoga. He was talking about stretching. He was talking about tired, being tired of these freak injuries, of these soft tissue injuries. So it really was him venting a bit of like where he's at, what he's gone through, and I just thought to myself, I think it's I think it's fair. I think it's fair that he asks for that respect, that that he's upset that he doesn't get it. Because if you look back, if you look back, he just switched over to the number one jersey, right? They just right. came out with these beautiful 94 throwbacks. Was Jimmy Ward the longest tenured 49er player at this point? Was he featured in that video that they did in his new number one jersey? No. No, he no. wasn't even in it. They no. don't even sell his – I want one. I want a Jimmy jersey. Yes. I want the stitched one, but I Number can't one. get it because yeah. they don't do a custom stitched one, and they don't think Jimmy's important enough to be on there as one of the special players. You hear that, Jimmy? Jimmy G is on there, the guy who probably won't be on the roster next year, but Jimmy Ward – And why is that? Because seasons. they're trying to sell jerseys, and they think Jimmy's more profitable than Jimmy Ward. End of story. No. And the reason – the reason Jimmy's not as popular as he might want to be is the 49ers fault. He they has done everything that's asked of him, right? Yeah. I mean, how do they play him versus the safeties that get all of these interceptions? I mean, I'm interested to hear your take on that. What is your view of what they asked Jimmy Ward to do that limits his statistical performances? Well, he's not really playing safety on passing right. downs. He plays a lot of nickelback and he's in man-to-man -man coverage, shutting people down, making the quarterback throw elsewhere. So that's why he's making the point of how many yards he's given up. Like he doesn't have the classic stats that show up in a box score, interceptions, forced fumbles, but he's in man-to-man -man coverage and he's locking people up. So what he needs to do and what he's doing is to be his biggest hype man. Yeah. He needs to be his biggest hype man because the Bay Area media is not going to do it. The national media is not going to do it. We'll do it. But the team won't even do it. They'll promote Jimmy freaking Garoppolo before they uh, promote Jimmy Ward and Jimmy Garoppolo's history. So, yeah, he needs to go out and be his biggest pr promoter the way that Richard Sherman used to be. Yeah. To himself. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I want to take on a little bit of that. I want to keep promoting Jimmy Ward because I think he's fantastic. He, he is the personality that this offseason I really got to know. And, yeah. and I hadn't seen it before. I hadn't seen that come out of him. And I like it, man. I think he's got Sorry. a great personality. I think that he he has this certain je ne sais quoi about him that is just cool, man. I think he's yeah. a real cool player. I now understand why other players described him that way as being a cool dude. He really yeah. is. And I feel like he's really come into his own. He's uh, found his voice. Not that he didn't have it, but he's more confident in it. In it. And yeah. I think maybe the fact that that he got moved around to eight different positions when he was younger. It's hard to develop an identity. And he's finally stuck at one for a few years. He's established himself as one of the better ones in the league. And he's 30. He not he now finally can come into his own. It's a it's a late uh it's a late prime for him. But it, it seems is. like he's still as good as he ever was, if not better. If not better. I I mean I I give kudos to uh another uh 
co-host on your show, Vish, who, Vish. who I have heard repeatedly uh, defending both Ward and Tart. And, and yeah. I love it. I love hearing that because I feel like those of us that watch film have to do a better job of explaining to the rest of the fan base just how good Jimmy Ward is. That lockdown coverage that he was going through on his Instagram stories was remarkable. I mean, yes. what he does play in, play out, shutting people down in man coverage is something to behold. And more of us have to have to vocalize it so that the fan base jumps on it and they can put his damn jersey out there. Jimmy, come on my channel. Let's go live. We can watch film. You can sh show the whole thing. I'm interested. Let's give you some more promotion, man. You deserve it. And I think you're a cool guy. Come on my show. Come on my show. All right, I'll talk to you in the locker room. Uh, <laughs> Matt H says, can we put respect on Steve Wallace double helmet? Oh, absolutely. Definitely a good call. He was one of the uh, starters on that 94 team.